Discover the wonder inside. Wonder Vault? So today we've got a gadget that combines other gadgets. I love when this kind of thing happens. You've heard about this resurgence of vinyl. I remember hearing a statistic recently that vinyl has experienced some of its best years ever recently. Nostalgic component, I think the whole thing is like ceremonial. You crack your favorite beverage, you watch it spin. It takes you back like a time machine to another time and place. But here's the problem, you see a record player on its own, not very modern. That's where this thing comes in, the seed turntable speaker. It's got all the modern stuff you'd expect in a speaker like Bluetooth, you know, the ability to connect to it wirelessly. But then on the top of it, it's also got a turntable, a little bit of the old, with a little bit of the new. This thing is on Kickstarter right now, I believe. I'll have a link in the description. You can check it out. Here we go. Ooh, kind of fancy here. Power, documentation. This comes off, of course. Don't worry, we'll have it all back together in a moment. This thing is made out of some solid materials here. You can see that's that's real wood. It's got the weight to support it. Now, here's the thing with audio. There's currently no substitute for physical form factor. You want that base, you have to have the cabinet to back it up. Based on the weight, my expectations are elevating. Okay, that's convenient, right? Everything you need on there, power, turntable control, Bluetooth, looks like a Wi-Fi button, mute. You got the digital stuff with the analog stuff, very interesting. Power brick, extension cable, the counterweight. This goes on the opposite end of the arm here in order to balance it out. Now, believe it or not, this is kind of a technological feat here to have a turntable right on top of a speaker, especially a loud one. Are those vibrations going to potentially leak into the spinning of the turntable? They've got some spring-loaded tech in here, as well as your counterweight. Supposedly, stop that from happening again we check it out we'll find out over here you have your power port followed by analog audio outputs so you could send this source out to other speakers if you wanted to auxiliary usb you can keep a device charged up if you're streaming from that device to this one spdif out as well so that's digital audio out got a network connection and then what looks like a wi-fi button i'm assuming those are capacitive touch buttons back forward play pause volume up and down and mute. All right, so I have the thing plugged in. It's completely, it's set up and ready to go. I think all I have to do is put a record on it. So, a little bit of Hotline Miami for you guys here. You know, look at that. The whole thing is spring loaded. When this thing is vibrating, look at this. Look, I can, that's insane. Vino mode. <laughs> point all right like if you want to have a dance party you're jumping around this thing you can make it skip obviously but playing music without trying to jump around or smack the table or whatever the music itself and the volume level will not cause that to happen but something that i noticed here if i switch over to bluetooth mode bluetooth mode bluetooth mode side note very pleasant voice check this out bass up volume up we're gonna clip the mic watch the levels. So what am I trying to get at here? Because you're not using the turntable aspect over Bluetooth and probably auxiliary as well, all of a sudden you can you can play it at a higher volume. Kind of more what you're expecting when you take a look at the cabinet. You, you understand what I'm saying? So here's the thing to consider, all right? Yes, it plays vinyls, but if you're like a major vinyl aficionado then you probably want an outboard piece of gear you can seclude it off somewhere but if you dabble a little bit this is an all-in-one kind of package you know you get a little bit of both a little bit of the best of both worlds if you're a guy like jack you got the deer antlers the rug with the lounge chair and you have this beside and you're zoning the way 
this curve happens. They say that this shape on the side here is inspired by sound waves. So the wood itself has been bent in a very unusual way. I feel like I'll just keep this thing around just because of the looks. If you're interested in more info, there's a link in the description. Go watch my other speaker videos. If you want something to just blow your head off, go watch the Phantom video. Highly regarded as possibly the greatest unbox therapy video ever. So if you haven't seen it yet, I don't know what to tell. I mean, click it now. That's what I want. That's what I want. This episode of Unbox Therapy has been sponsored by Oreo. They sent over the Wonder Vault, the Milka Oreo chocolate candy bar. So check it out. Look at that. The king size Milka Oreo chocolate candy bar. Two individually wrapped bars in here. You can pick this up right now at your local convenience store. The king size classic Oreo. Check that baby out. The Oreo Mini. Take them to go. Oreo Thins, the Milka Oreo chocolate candy bar. So the king size, the single size, exotic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The Oreo cookie is on the inside, the classic. Jack, am I taking you back to your childhood right now? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks again to Oreo for sponsoring this video and providing all these amazing snacks that I can keep away from Jack and just have them to myself. You can actually get some too. You can win your very own Wonder Vault, one of these, and potentially a prize of $1,000. Just head to the link in the description for more information. Remember, you can get all this stuff right now at your local convenience store. Go get some Oreos.